So I got a, a, a note from a friend, and he says, what is a safe alternative way to treat pancreatic cancer? And, you know, he, he's, he's gone through the, the medical system, and the funny thing is, is he, he got most of his pancreas removed, and yet he still has pancreatic cancer. Um, you know, they, they gave him the chemo and then surgery and took out all of his, most of his pancreas. And boy, and now he's on a, you know, okay, I've got to have the, the best supplements in the world to make sure that I'm okay. And, you know, it really makes me sad because that is, seems like the hardest thing that you could do to your body as well as to your pancreas. Your pancreas, I know that pancreas cancer has a huge, uh, you know, failure rate. That most people with pancreas cancer do not survive five years, uh, as, as, a, as a statistics go. The thing is, is the pancreas is extremely vital because that's where your body makes a lot of enzymes for your digestion system. That way it breaks down the food as well as other, you know, um, enzymes that go throughout your body that get absorbed and, um, you know, help your immune system. It actually creates the enzymes that cure cancer, or fight cancer in other parts of your body. Uh, but because it's the pancreas, it doesn't actually do it within the pancreas. It's got to be expelled and, and into the digestive system and then if the digestion isn't so tough that it doesn't require it for the digestion, those certain enzymes can then get reabsorbed and then go throughout the body and maybe get back to the pancreas to cure the cancer. Ha! Huh, all that to say, um, the pancreas is extremely important to the body. And I would say look at the two big prob um, natures of what cancer is. Okay? It needs uh, glucose. It needs a very oxygen-deprived area so that it can ferment sugars. Okay, that's how it survives. That's how it breathes. It also needs very acidic um, environment. Okay, which means a very acidic um, diet, um, very acidic juices. Like if you're drinking soda or sports drinks or vitamin water or something like that extremely acidic, just destroys your body, okay? And I know for firsthand because I drank uh, about a six pack a day of Mountain Dew for the last 22 years, okay? And so when I was introduced to, um, say, Kangen water and, and heard some of the statistics on how bad soda was, I knew in my gut that it wasn't very much longer and all the acids that I've been pouring into my body were just going to destroy me. And yes, I noticed that a lot of my joints are not strong. And that any moment, you know, once I hit my 40s, I'm going to blow out a leg or I'm going to blow out a hip or something like that. Because it, all of the reserves in my body, the magnesium and the calcium, have all, all been stripped. And, you know, just to neutralize the blood and everything. So what I, you know, and what I do to treat other people right now is I give them an Agix Kangen water, 9.5, and I uh, deliver it to them. What that does is it helps them to, um, it's a hydroxyl ion, so it's an HO, not an H2O, which means half the hydrogen is out, which makes it very alkaline, as well as uh, antioxidant as well as adding a whole lot of oxygen into the body system. Okay, so very alkaline, so it'll get rid of the acid problem around the cancer site. It'll also add so much oxygen that it takes away, that it's no longer got an oxygen deprived area. So with just simple, you know, medical water, you can do something that chemotherapy can never do, okay? It can take care of a lot of the process within the cancer system, and, he, and, it, and it takes it at the, the nature of cancer 
and destroys the environment it is, and it can't survive in those environments. Okay? So that's pretty much what I would say to my friend when he says, what do we have that's safe, that's alternative to the medical department, uh, medical industry, that can take care of pancreatic cancer. So, guys, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.